Hi, pet. How are you holding up? Oh, you're feeling better? Oh. Mm. Sorry. I guess I can't quite read your humour yet. Well, I'm used to seeing very pale humans. Frankly, I thought you looked rather swell. But, oh no, don't mind me being terribly wrong. <clears throat> Sorry, Pet. I'm still trying to get used to you. Not you as a person, but rather just having a human around. Huh? Ah, oh, yes, I should start focusing on helping you. Well, aside from what I brought back yesterday, which, mind you, brought a very unhealthy amount of attention towards me, do you know how many people I had to brainwash at once to make them forget? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> I shouldn't be complaining or trying to swap the blame onto you. I caused this. Okay. Well, get more comfortable on the, um, bed. I'm not really too sure what to call it, it's just a bunch of pillows and blankets. Anyway, just get more comfortable. I don't want you to be pushing yourself more than you should be. So, try not to move a whole lot. I've got a lot of things. I've been assured very handedly that they are positive for human consumption and health. Although the guy running the market might have been messing with me, I asked, what do humans need? And he said this stuff. So, I bought it. Um, I think, what? We have... Seven apples, two rabbits, three spoons, a mini cask of wine. This one was for myself. I thought it was neat. A cut of beef. I don't know what part of the beast. An assortment of vegetables. Some... It's a powder? I think he called it stock? Apparently it's used for soup or something. You'll have to tell me. Oh, and uh, 14 napkins. He was very adamant about having the napkins. I don't know why, but I just bought them anyway. Make him happy and not ask questions. Also, I refilled the canteens with fresh water. You need to stay up on your fluids. Uh, what's that look for? Are you feeling okay? Oh. Most of the stuff is okay, but there are a few weird things. Well, at least most of it's useful. Now, stop talking. Relax. And I'll do the rest. Okay, pet. Good boy. Here. Drink up. Food will dry my boy out a bit. And we can't have that. That would leave your blood all thick. Syrupy. Concentrated. 
And that would be very bad for your health. Come on. Drink up. Good boy. Don't worry about drinking at all. I can always go and get more. I'm not entirely sure how to cook any of this stuff. I haven't cooked for myself in... Well... I honestly don't know. It'd be back when I was human. We had several servants treating us back at my last home. So I suppose I'll be learning from scratch again. There could be some leftover cooking utensils and things in here. I'll go have a look. Here. Eat one of the apples while I go take a look. I want you to get something in you. Okay? I don't know what any of this stuff is. This looks like it'll work. Uh, whoops. Um, I'll clean this up later. Oh, well, when the human can do it. <laughs> back. This big mighty pot should fit everything you need. So do you feel like rabbit, steak, or just veggies? Shh. It was rhetorical. You don't get to choose. I am just asking to make myself feel better. I'll be feeding you whatever you need to get healthier. Beef, veggies, stock. Boil it all together until it smells good. I think that's the plan. Hmm. Well, at least half the floor is missing. We can cook in here. I just need to... <sighs> Make a bit of a clearing. Now, we have firewood, a cooking area, and you can stay warm and get the smell of the wonderful food. Why not just do it in the fireplace? <laughs> well... <clears throat> Be a good boy for me and shut up. And eat another apple. All while I set this up. No, no. Don't talk back. Eat that apple. Good boy. To be honest, it smells pretty good. It's been so long since I've wanted something other than blood. But this is a pretty good contender. It's nice. Here. Yeah. Try some. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? I'll serve some up for you. I grabbed a bowl when I was in the kitchen. 
It even has a handle, so you'll be able to grab it better. Huh? It's... It's a small pot. Well, to be honest, I think bowls should have handles. Whatever. Just eat up, you silly boy. Go on. Be a good boy and eat up. I can just see the life come back in you. The colour filling your cheeks. The strength coming back to your body. God, it's making me so impatient. <laughs> I'm so fucking hungry. I just... I just want to dig in. Really claim you as mine and make you my live in blood bag. But I know I can't do that. Not while you're weak. Yeah. I guess I've gotten a bit better at restraint. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. You're... You're weird. <laughs> no, I mean it in a good way. I bought you at a slave house. Your purpose was to be saved by me and... Give me blood in return. I really thought that our connection wouldn't be more than that. I... <laughs> I didn't really expect to care so much for you. One... <laughs> barely two days in... I find myself caring for you like I would a loved one. In that short time, I almost killed you, and yet here you are, trusting me to get you back to full health. It's beyond foreign to me. I just hope you keep this trust up. I'll continue to do my best to keep you healthy. Not just while you're weak, but throughout your life. Hmm. Thanks. Now, be a good pet and finish your food. You need to rest up and let the food do its work. Get comfy, boy. I can tuck you in nice and tight. Here, let me. Better? That smile, that glow, you look like it. <sighs> I'll keep you company till you fall asleep. No, I. I'm not forcing you to sleep. I am... I want this. Hmm. But 
Don't worry. I can hold back. I'll just have to dig into your beautiful back once you're healed up. all that 